Welcome back to Global Defense Zone, your ultimate destination for in-depth analysis of global military technology, weapon systems, and defense strategies from around the world. If you're passionate about cutting-edge military hardware and global security affairs, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with fellow defense enthusiasts. Today's video dives deep into one of the most fearsome weapons ever created Russia's RS-28 Sarmat, also ominously known as Satan II. This nuclear-capable intercontinental ballistic missile is shaking the strategic balance of the world, and in this video, we'll uncover exactly why. In the shadowy world of strategic deterrence and global superpower rivalry, very few weapons have evoked the level of concern and attention as the RS-28 Sarmat. Nicknamed Satan II by NATO, this intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, represents the next generation of Russia's nuclear arsenal. Designed to replace the aging but still formidable R-36M2 Voivoda known to the West as the Satan missile the RS-28 takes the concept of nuclear deterrence to an entirely new level. Built for global reach, devastating power, and strategic intimidation, the RS-28 is not just a missile, it's a geopolitical statement. The development of the RS-28 Sarmat began in the early 2010s, a period when Russia was revamping its nuclear triad to address perceived threats from NATO and evolving missile defense systems. As the United States and its allies enhanced their anti-ballistic missile capabilities, Russian military planners feared their aging ICBMs could eventually be neutralized before reaching their targets. The answer to that threat came in the form of a missile capable of evading any known missile defense system, the RS-28 Sarmat. What sets the Sarmat apart from previous generations of ICBMs is not just its incredible range or destructive payload, but its sophisticated counter-defense capabilities. This missile is designed to carry multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, or MIRVs, allowing it to deliver up to 10 large nuclear warheads or potentially even 15 smaller ones to distinct targets across continents. These warheads can be individually programmed to strike different cities, bases, or strategic infrastructure points in separate regions, overwhelming any defense system. But it's not just the number of warheads that make the RS-28 terrifying. The missile can also carry advanced decoys and penetration aids, specifically engineered to confuse, disable, or bypass missile defense systems. These decoys create radar signatures that mimic real warheads, while countermeasures jam tracking systems and spoof interception software. Combined, these features make the Sarmat not only lethal but nearly impossible to intercept, even by the most advanced Western missile shields. The Sarmat's estimated range of up to 18,000 kilometers enables it to strike virtually any target on the planet. Launched from silos deep within Russian territory, it can deliver a nuclear payload to North America, Europe, Asia, or even Australia with staggering speed. In fact, its trajectory can be altered mid-flight to follow unconventional paths, such as flying over the South Pole a route that bypasses most Western missile defenses focused on traditional northern trajectories. This capability forces adversaries to rethink and reconfigure entire missile defense doctrines. Physically, the RS-28 is a behemoth. Weighing over 200 tons and measuring more than 35 meters in length, it is the largest and heaviest missile ever developed by the Russian Federation. Yet despite its size, it uses solid fuel or liquid fuel propulsion systems, depending on final configuration, which enables rapid launch and sustained acceleration through various stages of flight. Once launched, it reaches speeds exceeding Mach 20, making it incredibly difficult to detect, track, or shoot down. Russia has also hinted that the Sarmat could carry hypersonic glide vehicles such as the Avangard, further enhancing its lethality. These glide vehicles are capable of maneuvering at hypersonic speeds in the upper atmosphere, making them nearly impossible to intercept using current technologies. Combined with the RS-28's global range and nuclear payload, this would make the system one of the most formidable strategic weapons in the world. The political implications of the RS-28's deployment are equally significant. In unveiling the Sarmat, 
Russian President Vladimir Putin described it as a truly formidable weapon that will guarantee the country's security for decades. The message was clear. Russia is willing to invest heavily in maintaining its status as a global nuclear superpower, and it will not allow itself to be marginalized by Western military superiority or expanding missile defense networks. The strategic calculus behind the RS-28 is rooted in the doctrine of mutually assured destruction, the belief that no nuclear-armed power would initiate a first strike if it knew retaliation would be guaranteed. By ensuring the survivability and overwhelming retaliatory capability of its nuclear arsenal, Russia aims to deter any potential aggression or preemptive strike. The Sarmat, with its incredible payload and defensive aiding abilities, is designed to reinforce that doctrine beyond any doubt. But the deployment of the Sarmat also raises pressing concerns for global security. Arms control experts have warned that weapons like the RS-28 make it harder to maintain international treaties aimed at reducing nuclear stockpiles and preventing a new arms race. The collapse of agreements such as the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, INF, and the uncertainty surrounding the New START Treaty have only intensified fears that the world may be sliding into a new Cold War era standoff. Moreover, the Sarmat's unveiling comes at a time of rising tensions between Russia and NATO. With ongoing conflicts, shifting alliances, and economic sanctions fueling hostilities, the timing of this weapon's operational readiness appears to be more than symbolic. It serves as a reminder that in an age of asymmetric warfare and hybrid conflict, traditional nuclear deterrence still plays a central role in strategic planning. According to Russian defense officials, the RS-28 Sarmat has already completed its final tests and is entering serial production. Units are being deployed to various missile divisions across Russia, particularly in regions deemed critical for strategic deterrence. As these systems become fully operational, the global military balance will shift not just in terms of capabilities, but also in terms of perception and psychological warfare. Western defense analysts have responded with cautious concern. While the United States and NATO possess their own formidable nuclear arsenals, including systems like the Minuteman III and Trident 2D5, few missiles match the raw payload capacity and strategic flexibility of the Sarmat. Efforts to modernize Western ICBMs are ongoing, but until new systems come online, the RS-28 arguably places Russia ahead in certain aspects of nuclear deterrence. In conclusion, the RS-28 Sarmat Satan II is more than just a missile. It is a bold declaration of Russia's technological prowess, strategic intent, and uncompromising posture in the face of evolving global threats. With the ability to obliterate cities, bypass missile shields, and redefine the parameters of warfare, it serves as both a deterrent and a diplomatic bargaining chip. Whether it will keep the peace or push the world closer to confrontation remains to be seen. Thank you for watching today's deep dive into one of the world's most powerful and controversial weapons. If you found this content insightful and want to stay updated on the latest developments in global defense technology, Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Your support helps us grow and continue bringing you high-quality defense analysis from around the world. This is Asterisk Global Defense Zone.